in a world where being productive is super important, resting and regrouping is also super important. Good morning. I'm the girl that wakes up at 5 a.m. to work out Monday through Friday with the 9 to 5. But I'm also the girl that will lay in bed until 9 o'clock on the weekends if I need the rest. And nothing is wrong with that. If I don't stress anything to you, I stress the importance of journaling. I woke up this morning with a ton on my mind and I immediately grabbed my journal and felt instant relief. It's super important to journal. The devotion for today is March 23rd. Expect favor. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor you will surround him as with a shield. Psalms 5 and 12. We can expect God to do what he promises. Therefore, we can go through our days expecting favor. When God gives favor, he opens doors for us and causes people to do things for us that they wouldn't ordinarily be inclined to do. As a simple example, recently I was at a clothing store I go to often, and when I paid my bill, the owner decided to give me a 20% discount on my purchases that day. That is favor. Get excited and expect God's favor today. I would rather ask for a lot and get part of it than ask for nothing and get all of it. Speak this. I am expecting favor today everywhere I go. This is a devotion that I got for my high school graduation. I am now 25. I have been reading this. Actually, when I first got it, I didn't read it, of course. Um, but I still have it to this day. I still have this and the Bible that was given to me by a woman named Nikki. I'll never forget. But this devotion from Joyce Meyer is called My Time with God, Renewed in His Presence Daily. Girl, this... I can just, Joyce Meyer, she's she's the, the type of um, pastor, author, that when she writes, she writes like realness. It's not big, huge words. She like, she, she speaks to you so you can resonate and you can relate with everything that she's saying. Sometimes, y'all, I be screaming and I share this devotion every day with the girls on Instagram. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, go ahead, like it is D. But I share my devotion with them every single day. And one day I missed it. They were like, where's the devotion for today? I'm telling you, Joyce Meyer, she has amazing, amazing, amazing. She's an amazing author. And this devotion right here is so old, but it is listed in my Amazon storefront. If you want it, it is just, it is amazing. Like some mornings where I'm reading it and now I started to see that when you read it out loud, it hits a little different. Like, yeah, I am expecting God's favor. I really, really, really enjoy this devotion. I really do. Here's another one. This is from March 8th. I just skimmed over it. It says, people change. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrews 13 and 8. Jesus is the only one whom we can depend on to always be the same. People and circumstances are subject to change, and we should not allow ourselves to expect that they will always be the same. People go through different seasons in their lives, and as we do, we see changes in them that we may or may not like. In order to not be devastated, keep your eyes on Jesus, because he is the rock that never moves and always remains the same. Unrealistic expectations are the root of much of our, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Unrealistic expectations are the root cause of much of our unhappiness. Speak this. I put my expectations in God because he is always faithful. You see what I'm saying about Joyce Myers? Like, she's going to give it to you real and raw. Like, I really love this. Sorry for the interruption.
I love a slow Saturday morning. Usually my Saturday mornings are consumed with something. I have something to do, I plan something. But this morning, I just decided to take it slow. Even though my alarm went off at 520, I was up and I went back to sleep, of course, because it's Saturday. I would usually go to like a market downtown, like really two, I, I live downtown, so it's like two minutes away. They have a beautiful bou bouquet of flowers. They're like really beautiful, but I don't really want to take care of flowers, but they're so nice. There's good foods down there and all, but I just didn't go today. I'm using the Sulu's Gentle Cleansing Foam. It's very gentle. I love something that I can just rub in my eyes to get any excess eyeliner or anything out without it burning, and this works well. If you're shopping the support sale, catch it there. The shine on my chest this morning is sponsored by not really i'm just saying that the youth to the people hydrated glow body butter so 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 good then i layer then i layer that with a little bit of the cerave healing ointment just because i have really dry skin but i can use the youth to the people of uh, body butter by itself it does really 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 well really well Oh my God, while eating breakfast, I went on Instagram and saw that I hit 10K followers. Oh my God, I am so thankful. That's my happy dance, y'all. I am just so grateful. I love y'all so much. What about all the turnovers? About two weeks. Um, you know. Yeah. 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 yeah, like I, like I said, you know, we've had two. A couple times we've seen the one, two, two. I think a lot of people throw that, throw them in his own. I think they have a coach on their staff that pretty knows most, most of our plays. So, in the game, I think they really helped us. Um, I mean, anybody can win at any given time. And just being able to focus and stay together. I mean, every game is not going to be pretty. Thank you. You should take on the game. Obviously. 
This is the end of my Saturday morning routine. I thank you guys so much if you made it this far. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and talk to me in the comments. Do you usually have slow or fast-paced Saturday mornings? I want to know. Thank you guys so much again. Love you guys. Bye.